Hey there everybody, nice to see you again. Okay, so full disclosure, last summer, Neewer, and I'm not sure how you pronounce that, N-E-E-W-E-R, the fine purveyors of uh, photo gear that they are, uh, contacted me through my website and said, hey, you want to review any of our gear? And I said, well, that'd be cool. I already use a whole bunch of you guys' gear. Um, I've never used a slider before for video, but I'd love to try it out. Um, and they said, well, that's fine. We'll send you a slider. So uh, I did not pay for this. Niwar sent this to me so that I could check it out. I think it's really cool of them. Um, I, I told the guy I have no experience with a slider, so I'd be learning how to use it. So I'm not sure what kind of a great review I can make, but they sent it to me anyway, and so here we are. And so, uh, so full disclosure, I did not pay for this. Um, however, there's a bunch of other newer gear that I'd already been using because I love their gear. It's really high value, low cost. And, you know, if it gives you the capability. Now, it's not, in general, newer gear is not, um, you know, your super heavy duty commercial studio stuff. Um, I, it's not going to take much abuse. But uh, it's good gear that uh, provides you the capability with little money. And that's where this falls in. This is about 300 bucks for a carbon fiber slider. And you can see how big it is and everything. And um, what a slider does, just real quick, you know, for those of you who don't know, is uh, you mount this on your tripod um, in the middle here. This is the tripod mount there. And then you put a, usually put a ball head on here. I have a little one I put on here. And then I put my camera on top of that. And then this motor here will move your camera smoothly while it's taking a picture. And these uh, settings here, the bar, you move back and forth so the camera pans as it moves. So as it's moving across, it'll, it's, anyway, that's how, kind of how it works. Um, so, uh, to review this, it, if this is your first slider, this will be great. You know, it's about 300 bucks. Um, they make two different models. The, I got the one with the remote, the separate remote. And the, the only criticism I will have say is that the remote is kind of cryptic. The instructions aren't very good. It's not that hard to figure out, but it's one of those things where every time I go to use it, I have to relearn it. If I were using this thing every day, it'd be fine. The remote is also a little bit um, on the cheaper construction side. But hey, for 300 bucks, it works and it works well. And I can, and now the, um, the slider itself is pretty heavy duty. It's pretty robust. Um, and uh, I don't think you'd have a problem with this at all. It, uh, it's really well made. The, um, and it works fine. Uh, I'm still, I can't show you great footage out of it because uh, I, I have a little bit, I'll roll a little bit of it in um, from the XS10 that I've been, but it, it's a learning thing for me. And you know, for three, if I were gonna buy a slider, that's the one I'd buy because I'm learning and, and um, it's perfect for that, okay? So that's where that's at. They also make one that uh, has a remote, uh, an app for your phone and you use your phone as the remote. Um, all of these newer products that I'm talking about today take the ubiquitous Sony um, video camera battery. Um, it's a very, it, you know, it's industry standard. They, they, it's the same battery. They all they come in different sizes. There's a medium size, um, and they're really inexpensive. These are power extras. Came with a charger. I think you get two for like thirty bucks. Really super cheap. Um, and all of these newer accessories um, take those batteries, which is great. So, um, so that's the slider. Um, the rest of this gear I paid for with my own money. The next thing I'd like to talk about is these newer uh, LED video lights. Um, I use them for photography as well. These things are fantastic. So how these work is uh, the battery slides in the back, like so. It has the capacity for two batteries. You flip the switch, it turns on. And then you've got dials for the different uh, color balance. You can make it uh, yellow or warmer and you can make it cool. Put both on, kind of give you a daylight. So there's that, just knobs in the back here. Um, these things work great. As a matter of fact, I bought two of them. I like them so much I bought two more. I think they're about 50 bucks a piece. Two for a hundred, something like that. I got them off Amazon. Um, I've got one mounted to the wall over there and I've got one permanently mounted to the wall over there. And then I've got them plugged into the AC. It also comes with an AC adapter. 
these things just work great. You can really, you really have control over your light and you can dial it in. I will say one thing though, if you leave the battery in these units, it'll kill the battery. So let's say you're doing a shoot, you leave the battery in there and you come back to it like four or five hours later or overnight, the battery will be dead. So you always have to take the battery out when you're using it. But these lights are fantastic. The, the metal frame, the light stand frame is aluminum, it's solid, it's great. What's not so great is the uh, side rail here is plastic and these break. So I've had some of them crack on me. They still work, but some of them are broken. And uh, in fairness, I kind of abused them a little bit. The ones mounted to the wall will never break. Um, so I paid for these with my own money, um, and I, I'll, I'd buy more. When, if these break to the point where I can't use them, I'd buy more. They're that good, they're that high value, and they really solve a lot of problems. As a matter of fact, we had a power outage about a couple of months ago, and um, uh, it was, the power was out for a couple, three hours. And after a while, I said, hang on, we were lighting candles and stuff. And after a while, I said, hang on. And I got two of these, I put them in the living room with the batteries, turned them on, and um, we had light. There you go. So, uh, so you can use them for power outages too. Good stuff. And the last newer product I got for you is the F100 7 inch video monitor. Um, it comes with the cords, it comes with this little mounting uh, ball head thing, little tiny mounting ball head. Doesn't come with the bracket, that's my old wedding bracket. But what I do is I put my camera here, I plug it in, I put a battery in the back, turn it on, it works a treat. I've used this with the X-T3, I've used it with the A7R for Sony, I've used it with the Nikons. Um, really good. The camera that works the best with them is the Fuji's because you can choose whether you want a clean display or a display with all the information in it. For vlogging, the information view is what I use. That's great. With the Nikons, you only get clean out, not so good. And with the Sony's, um, it's really weird because you get, uh, in 1080, you get full information and in 4K, you get no information whatever. Um, this was about 120 bucks. I can highly recommend it. Another newer product. Again, it's not bulletproof commercial studio standard stuff, but for a, for a small studio or a home studio or people on a super budget or, you know, a situation where you want to try something, but you don't want to invest a ton of money in it. Great entry level gear at a fair price and it all works and it's reliable and it does the job I can't say fairer than that, really. So um, the reason I'm making this video is Niwer reached out and they sent me that slider and I owe it to them and I'm, I'd be happy to do it. Um, but I like their products so much I included the video monitor and the lights, the LED lights, because the Niwer products are really good. But know what you're buying. Know, you know, if you're a commercial studio and you got the money, I don't know, you know? It depends on yeah, how much, how, how abusive your, your help is, I guess. Um, but for a small, you know, independent vlogger, you don't want to spend a lot of money. This stuff is great. And, and that's where it's at. You know, it's the right tool for the right job, but know what you're getting. But high value and really decent quality. And it does the job. So, all right, I beat that to death. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell for notifications. And um, I really appreciate it. We'll catch you guys later and we'll see you out there. Bye.